हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सेल थ्री प्रो टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स चैनल थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग आवर वीडियोस एंड लाइकिंग देम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और इफ यू हैव एनी सेल थ्री इश्यू यू कैन राइट अस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड विल गेट बैक टू यू विद द वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू विद प्रोफाइल व्यू ट्रिक्स well uh, when we design profile for hilly terrain uh, we face the problem that uh, that our profile uh, range in the level of uh, like 20 30 meter uh, uh, and uh, we need to show that 20 30 meter profile height in the one profile view but what we have a problem that in our pro plan and profile sheet we do not have that much space left that we can show a uh, 30 meter level difference so so what we do generally that we split the profile view with the different datum well normally we do this with the help of say our care people that care people has to split that profile view and adjust them or what we do we create small small profile and try to adjust them well to avoid all those hard work or uh, long process sil3 has given the option of split profile view in it which is very quick and uh, and you can do it in uh, in quick time so let's see how we can do that and uh, how it benefit to us uh, so when i select uh, here i have one profile view and my levels are ranging like 41 you can see my proposed level here 41 then in middle here ranging 34 and uh, here 47 so if now i have to show this entire profile in 5 meter uh profile height how i can show that uh so i'll go to the profile view i'll go with profile view properties and go to the elevation now here the sil3 already adjust automatic height but i want my profile is the 5 meter so i go to the user defined i'll give uh, 30 and 35 so in this way you can control your profile view height you can give apply and you can see what happened then so when i give my profile view height 30 to 35 you can see the lot of profile is missing due to the problem but now i have to show entire profile in this profile view band uh how i could do that so what i do i go again with the profile view properties and here once you click user specified height one more option will open up is the split profile view well the sil3 here give you two option manual or automatic uh first we will go with the automatic option so i select automatic and click okay so here sil3 automatically calculate changes and datum for you and it set up in the 5 meter height and let's see the how it automatic look like so i'll give apply and okay so i check my profile view so here the sil3 automatically split your profile view with the 5 meter height and you can see here it gives you the datum wherever it splits so my datum is here here and here and it's so entire profile in the 5 meter height so this way you can quickly do your uh, splitting your profile view and you don't need any care help or you you don't need to break your profile view or export it to do this you can do it with the sales head itself now uh, let's see the manual options well you can see in automatic option that sil3 has calculated itself and the stations are not round off you can see here the change is 62.35 379 and also the elevation 33 or 485 now suppose i need it for the round station and that is why sil3 give another option is called manual so in the manual option you can add your station by yourself so here is the plus button if you click on the plus button and it give you option to select where you need to break your profile view and what datum you need to keep so here i have datum of 38 and my profile is breaking so if i have to give the wrong station 
uh, what I'll do, I'll select uh, my top height is 41. So I'll go with 37, round up, and uh, I'll go with my station around up 40. So I uh, first is asking to select your station, and then it asking your height. So I'll give 37 and enter so here you can come you can write off here also as well 37 all right so my first profile view is uh, uh, on chain is 60 and i7 now i can click one more uh, from now it will start from 60 and i want to split it over here or the chain is of 220 and I'll keep my profile view height, it's of 34 to 10, I think it's 33. And 33, not the 30, 34. So I select my end station here on 220 and hit enter. So it's 220 and I will adjust my height to 34. So in this way you can select your entire profile and you can select in fire enter uh, range interval. So 60 and uh, 220. What I'll give in value here is 37, 34 and you can apply, you can OK. So you can see whatever the wheel uh, it comes on the round chain edges and it comes with the round datum so in this way you can select for this your entire profile with the round chain edges and round datum line so thank you thank you for watching this you can go with the manual or you can go with the automatic options as per your choice